I'm Julie May. I'm a professor, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm a sweet southern culinary superstar, even if it's only in my own kitchen. My food blog, Menu Musings of a Modern American Mom, reaches thousands of people all over the world each day. And today, I'm going to cook with you. Let's get started. Today, we're starting out at Ingalls, getting the ingredients to make macaroon kiss cookies. Here's what we'll need. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of baking powder, half of a teaspoon of table salt, two-thirds of a cup of softened butter, six ounces of Laura Lynn cream cheese, which is also softened, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two egg yolks, one tablespoon of good quality vanilla, three-fourths of a teaspoon of almond extract, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of fresh orange juice, 10 cups of sweetened flaked coconut divided into six cup and four cup portions, and 48 chocolate kisses. Now remember, all of this is on the website at ingles-markets.com. You can print a list and take it with you, or you can pull it up on your phone. Now let's get cooking. All right, so we here we have a medium-sized mixing bowl, and we're just gonna mix together all of our dry ingredients and Lily's gonna sift them for us. The reason we're sifting them is because over time, the flour can become a little compacted and that will give you a more dense product. So just, she's gonna sift them for us. Some children have a hard time turning the wheel and if that's true, then you can just kind of pat the side and it'll sift right through. And you'll see that it'll come out as a very, very fine powder. After we get the flour in there, we're gonna add our one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of baking powder to give us a good rise. You can just go ahead and put it right in the sifter too. They can get little balls in them too, so you definitely wanna break up those little balls. And a half a teaspoon of table salt. Just let it all go together. All right, now we're ready to mix all of our wet ingredients. And Lily's going to mix the softened butter first. My mother always told me that there's always steps that children can help you do in the kitchen, and she's a great helper. Next, we're gonna mix our softened cream cheese. And finally, our granulated sugar. Here. Go ahead. Careful. That's a lot of sugar. You can expect little mistakes like this from kids, but that's what makes it fun. And it's Christmas, right? All right, we're gonna cream these together until they're nice and fluffy. I hope this taste is good. Once it gets cohesive, you can add it a little higher. If you do it too fast at the beginning though, you might be wearing it at the end. All right, now that this is creamed together really nicely, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna turn it down to do that. Okay? Here, here we go, Lily. Thanks. We're gonna add almond extract. Some vanilla extract. Our egg yolks. and our freshly squeezed orange juice. And let that all incorporate for a few minutes. And after that, we're going to add the dry ingredients together in small increments. So we're just gonna give this a, a, a few minutes to get together. Now that our other wet ingredients are all incorporated, we're gonna add our dry ingredients back. We're gonna add um, about a half of a cup at a time. We just don't want it flying everywhere around the kitchen. If you see it flying up too much, you can turn your mixer down on its lowest setting. Once it starts getting a little stiff, you can turn it up a little higher. Now that our flour is all incorporated and we have a nice cohesive mixture, it's time to add our flaked sweet coconut. And out of about 10 cups, we're gonna add six cups to start with. 
I'm going to put about a cup at a, at a time. And so start our mixture again. Mommy, it tastes good. All right, I'm going to turn it off and... Now can we take it? I'm so Yes, we're going to taste it. Mm. We have to make sure it tastes great first. And then this needs to be refrigerated for an hour. So I'm going to cover it and refrigerate it for an hour. And then we'll come back and we'll finish them off. Now we've refrigerated our dough for an hour. Our cream cheese has gotten cold again and we're ready to do the fun part. And that's rolling these balls of coconut dough essentially in more coconut. How wonderful is that? So I'm going to portion out some dough and I'm going to give it to Lily and she's going to roll it into a little ball. And I'm going to put the remainder of our coconut into a shallow dish. And then they will be rolled in the coconut. And I guess you want about, about a tablespoon of dough at a time. You roll it into a nice ball and you press it down into the coconut, just like that. And get it all around there. And once they are coated with the coconut, we can place them on our pan. And you can see that I have lined my pan with parchment paper. And that's going to ensure that it's going to release and not stick. And we're just gonna do this until we have a whole pan full. There you go. Okay, so you can see that we have one pan prepared and I still have got tons of dough. This recipe makes like four dozen cookies, which is great because since we're gonna refrigerate the dough, you can make a pan and leave the others in the refrigerator and make some for a neighbor or somebody else. So that's a really versatile recipe. So now we have all our sticky hands, We've preheated the oven. You can probably hear it in the background. I'm gonna stick these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 13 or 14 minutes. They're gonna get beautiful and brown and toasty and I'll see you back. All right, now that these have just come out of the oven, we're immediately gonna take a chocolate kiss and place them right in the middle of each one. You wanna help I know. me? Now after we do this, these are going to go back into the oven for only about one minute. One minute? That's not very long. That's not very long. And then they'll be ready. I know. Right here. Wing. Okay, now that these have come out of the oven again, we're gonna let them sit for at least about 10 minutes to firm up. And you need to remember that the chocolate will stay soft for a little while. So make sure that the chocolate is fully cool before you package them up. Well, we're out of time for today, but I wanna thank you so much for joining me and Lily here in the Ingalls Kitchen for Menu Musings. Remember, you can find this recipe, videos, photos, and more on the website at ingles-markets.com. We'll be cooking up more great ideas for you and your family. Until next time, We'll see you online.